Okay, Tony, an easy way to cut your fabric so that you're not driving yourself crazy with having to lay it out on a pattern is to do this. It is basically your fabric, as you can see here, this is the width. This is this one's 45 inches. And because it's 100% cotton, um, there's a very easy way to cut it. And so what I do is I go where it's folded on the half. And I do a snip. And then I hold it close to like that and just tear down. 100% fabric should just tear like that. If yours doesn't tear, then stop. Um, and then I fold it again, as you can see. So this would be the one yard length, except this, tends, this piece is half a yard. And again, I fold it in half. And I make that little snip. So this now gives me the front part of the mask. See that? And the back part. And so that takes care of that. Uh, because that was just half a yard. Let me do it on a piece that's a yard long. Um, again, this one is a yard long much longer and so I will do the half and half let me see. make sure this is not 60 inches wide uh, before I do this no okay we're good okay we're good so again I'm going to tear this Like that. And then, remember, the yard goes down that way. This is your width. So we're going to make four pieces that are either 10 or 11 inches wide. Oops. There we go. So when I have my one yard piece cut, I fold it in half. Doesn't matter outside, inside, whatever. Fold it in half like that. And then you're going to fold it into thirds. Now I can pretty well, oh, I'm sorry. I can pretty well eyeball this, but I'll do it up close for you. So. Basically, you're going to take your material, fold it in half, and you're basically going to just fold it into thirds, like that. And what this does is it creates three masks. So you find your one-third mark, your other one-third mark, and there you go. So on the side that you have so you have two folds here and basically one fold here so you're going to do what you're going to do is on that fold and make sure it's the same on the bottom don't get crooked cotton fabric will tear on the lengthwise but not always on the um i mean on the yeah lengthwise but not always across the bias so now i've got my little box here you should be able to open it like that, and here's your solid fold. So what I do on this solid fold is I stick my scissors up there, and I just cut up on that fold. And when I'm done, you have one mask ready to go, and then you have two more masks ready to go. See that? And that way, all I do when I go to sew them is that I can take this, now it's ready, I put 
right sides together. I turn it back a half inch and I can just stitch down this seam and do that. You know, I turn it back half inch on the other end and that way I can do 20 of these at a time, just feed them through the machine and then I take them and turn them all and then they'll be ready for me to side to put the elastic in and sew the sides. So when you're done, you should have a piece that's a quarter of your fabric wide, a quarter of your fabric wide, so 10 to 11 inches, and it should be um, this wide. So, okay. And then the elastic, so um, the ones that are um, the, your material that's going to be 10 inches um, instead of 11, they'll be a little bit smaller but I'll put the smaller elastic on those. And so I just kind of mix it up. I use the whatever material and then I take so many of the elastic of one size and et cetera. So that sometimes you have a smaller mass but they need longer to the ear or whatever. But it'll give you different size mass. Also, there'll be two pleats in the front, two very small pleats. And so when I sew this up, the elastic will go in either end and I just fan fold this like this and stitch it down. This gives it two pleats so that it'll open across the face. And um, the pleats, when they're wearing them, the pleats need to face down. But this also makes it reversible and they are not to wash these in the washing machine. They are to rinse them in hot water and hang them in the sun to dry if they can. What I do with mine is when I keep mine in my car because that's where I'm using them. Um, when we're at work we'll have to do something different. And so what I do is I just lay mine on the dash in my car. It's so hot in there it'll kill everything. Um, and you know as I rotate them out I bring them in, rinse them in very hot water and hang them in the sun to dry. That's all these, the, you don't want to put detergent through these. So when we get them to distribute you might want to tell them to people is not to wash them in bleach or chemicals. Um, so anyway uh, my husband, he just takes the um, spray sanitizer we bought, and he sprays his mask every once in a while, you know, when he goes to Lowe's or something like that. So this is it. I hope this will help you. I'll send this to you. Okay.